the Jack Pike Galbraith Smock. This just explains the material, how it works. Uh, yeah, readability explained. Jack Pike of England. I've got a little pack of buttons. I'm not sure where they're supposed to go on this because there is no buttons there's a drawstring at the at the bottom to tuck it up under there's uh, you can do that there's top quality velcro across the cuffs there's even you can get it out there's an elasticated cuff on the inside. Oh, there's buttons there. I didn't even notice them. Um, pockets are very deep. It doesn't run through all in all, one pocket like. Um, there's the little pouch, quite deep. Again, good zips. Um, there's no ventilation zips on it. <coughs> you can see the membrane through it. Um, it's draw strings on the hoods, on the hood, to close it right down. This is an extra large. I'm normally a large. Uh, this is true to size. I got the extra large so I can put layers under it when I'm out. Um, there's no game pouch or back pocket, should we say? Um, the material <coughs> is almost like a the fleecy material. Um, when I first got it, when I got it out of the packet, I put it under the tap to test it. And yeah, the water didn't penetrate it. I put it on one of these slaves. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's, it is a waterproof jacket. Um, Stitching on it is great. Windproof, waterproof. I'll have to be careful around the fire with it because I can't see it taking a spark. With that said, I can't see it being a problem going through bushes, trees, and stuff like that. It does say it's a bushcraft jacket online, but I think if a spark hits that, it'll put a little hole in it. Um, yeah, it's You can see the water beading off it. So yeah, Jack Pike, Galbraith. It cost me 60 euros from a company in the UK there was one company no there was two companies here selling them 
one of them wanted a hundred euro for it and the other company only had them in a small <clears throat> and even though i ordered it from the uk uh, there was a 20 euro import tax from dhl on it there was a few other smocks i was looking at there was one from c to peak um, there was another one from Vass. It's a fishing one. Uh, roughly around the same price, I think. There was another one from Deer Hunter, and they didn't have the colour I wanted. I wanted the olive colour, and all they had was one that looked kind of burgundy. Um, yeah so 80 euros all in all money well spent my like, hand in the pocket there and i can't even feel that water now and even if i squash it yeah it's just not coming through the material i'm squashing the water yeah it's just not coming through so yeah good boy good boy oh well, yeah I thought I'd do this video because looking online there wasn't any videos for it Um, I'll come back in a few weeks and I'll put in the comment section what it's like and how it's held up there's no drawstring on the hood just the tail at the front to tighten it down um, yeah I'll put a link in the description of where I got this and um, whatever information I can get on it bye for now